Baylor Baseball hired a new director of operations and Darren Thomas. But I tell you something about Darren Thomas. He is very, very experienced. And not only that, he was a head coach at UT Arlington for 15 years as a head coach and seven years as an assistant. And I don't blame him if he didn't want to do the coaching stuff anymore so just do director operations. That is the best hire you could probably make, honestly. Because he, he was a solid coach at UT, UT Arlington, like 404 wins in three conference tournaments, championships, like 41 players drafted or signed with NBA MLB teams, 59 players, all conference selections, 20, including 22 for first team, while racking up seven 30 win seasons. Mm hmm so as you could tell just based on that alone he's more than qualified and he actually spent not before UT Arlington he spent nine years as an assistant coach at Sedward County Community College where he assisted the National Junior NCAA Hall of Fame coach Galen McSpadden Spadden and he helped Helped them, the Saints, helped that team to a 346 wins and 144 losses while being ranked in the top 20 nationally during seven years. So, he's bo he's very, very qualified. So, I'm not worried about the Baylor baseball program currently. Though I am curious how they're going to do year one under Mitch Thompson. That's the only thing I'm curious about. I don't want to set so high expectations. I think the goal is to set a foundation. And then try to build from there. In terms of wins, we don't know. Because we don't have the schedule, obviously, for next year yet. Mind that. And... They did lose some players to the transfer portal, but they added some players either from junior college transfer portal or even incoming freshmen. So, we'll see. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. See you guys later. Let's give it to 400 subscribers and more by the end of this year.